My name is Dave and this is my ON30 model railroad, the Thunder Mesa Mining Company. I'm trying something a little bit different this month. We're doing a video log to show what's new, what's been happening on the layout. Uh, unfortunately, I really haven't had too much time to build any new structures or any new scenery. Instead, I've been working on infrastructure, building the bench work and running the wiring for what's to come. So if you got a minute or two, let's have a look around and see what's been going on. Come on. Here's the box girder bench work for the new Coyote Canyon and Hanging Rock sections. As you can see, it drops down in a series of stair steps from the uh, level of the existing layout. Those are going to be some deep canyons. Here's the area on the track plan the new bench work has been built for. I can't wait to get started on the scene right here. Just across the Thunder Mesa Peninsula is the new village of San Lorenzo. This outstanding diorama was built by my friend Vern Niner for his Estrella and Sonora Grande layout. I am really thrilled to have it here in Thunder Mesa country where it will act as one end of the railroad in operations. That stub into track will lead to a narrow staging shelf in the future. And speaking of track, there's a lot more of it now. Here's the new passing siding at Thunder Mesa. I'm using Pico Code 100 ON30 flex track and turnouts throughout the entire layout. I find this track easy to work with and virtually bomb-proof in operations. Below the layout deck, I've installed 14 AWG bus wires to carry the DCC power. 20 gauge feeder wires drop down about every three feet or so to bring power to the rails. The turntable and engine service area is still a work in progress. But the new passing siding at Thunder Mesa is going to be a boon to operations. For the first time ever, I can actually run the locomotive around the train. progress on the Rainbow Caverns side of the railroad too, where new track has been laid through the caverns that will lead to the new section at Hanging Rock. Okay, that's about it from Thunder Mesa Country this time. Thanks for checking in. Hey, and don't forget to check out Thunder Mesa's website, thundermesaminingco.blogspot.com. Lots more stuff on there. Adios for now.